building. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not looking. I'm not. Good. I'm not looking. I want to sit down so you can go. Okay. Okay. You can look. I'm afraid. You can look. We're going camping! Let's go! <laughs> Where's the reaction? <laughs> this is too small for my head. Wait. Let's go! We're going camping. <laughs> We're going, what? I'm moving my desk. I don't know what just happened. <laughs> Is that the reaction you were looking for? Yeah. Yeah. I was. Um. <laughs> hey. 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 <laughs> I look fresh out of 2001. 2009 more like. Three. I'm gonna stop it there. Let's scoot you in a little bit. Pre Act like you love me. I do that. Okay, I'm taking the hat off. I'm leaving the vest on the vest. It is July 24th. I'm wearing a vest inside. Oh my gosh. <sighs> the okay. scandal. I don't understand. What? Love scandals. Especially the new scandal happening. <gasps> my phone! Oh, it's in my pocket. I was gonna say. There's a lot of things that I want to talk about today. Whose bucket has that? Mine. It's yours? Mm hmm Why is it? What? It's too small for you. It was an Amazon purchase. It wasn't the best Amazon purchase of my life. I see. Uh, long story short, the place I used to work at, we love bucket hats for camp. So this matched your uniform. I uh, put it on, and I'm like, it doesn't fit. No. no. So I wore it like twice, and it actually might fit your head. She has a new bucket hat. Let's go. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Last Talk Chinese podcast, the best podcast. <laughs> Say it with me. In, In my, my mind. mind. Oh, see, she's learning. Oh, I got a hat. Yes, new hat. Oh, this is also, I want to say reversible, but it's not. <laughs> I think you, if you want it, you can have it. <laughs> Why? Why not? <gasps> no. Oh. Well, is it going to be a Let's Talk to Any's podcast in my basement if we... Uh, didn't have Sadie barking at us. Yeah, if we didn't have the dog barker, barking at us. Barking? Barking at us. Barking at us. Um, Shh. Shh. Anyways. You're okay. Look, again, here's your sign. Fancy. Oh my gosh. Enough. I need to figure out how to make the camera, the Timu camera, look good on the on thing. Um, Sadie! No! No. <laughs> no, no, no. No, no, no. I know you, I know. I, I understand. I might have to go put her upstairs again. Maybe. <laughs> you might have to go put her upstairs. I'm kind of trapped. Uh, you are? Oh. I thought I, my desk is here for those who uh, are wondering. My desk, my old desk. Why did I not know it was that color? Because <laughs> I had a mat on it the entire time. I always thought it was black. Because I have a black desk mat. Anyways, dogs calm down. We're good. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Let's Talk Today Podcast, the best podcast in my mind. Hi, everybody. I know. It's been like forever. So the I whole, left. The whole shtick. The whole joke is why I showed up in camping gear is because she left for camp. Yes. The week, oh, the week I didn't get that. of the last recording. Now, we do have some sad news. We were supposed to have two mics. The little dongle piece. I can't even tell my bro. The little piece that plugs into the microphone. It is currently snapped off well, not snapped one off of the, just snapped one uh, of the wires snapped underneath because i guess it was folded the wrong way 
I'm just hyping you up. Taking it back. This is my mic. This was originally my mic. I was going to actually give her the I was just mic. hyping you up. So now we have one mic for the two of us, which... Hooray. <laughs> oh, five minutes in. We're already just blabbering on. Blabber, blabber, blabber. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. Do, we, do you want to... Let's do it. Roll the intro. And we're back from the intro. Great. Uh, <laughs> so, how was camp? It was okay. I don't know what else to say. It's not really that exciting. It was a fun fun experience. What you do? I have to recap my days of the week. Because I didn't really do it much. It starts with a Monday and ends with a Sunday. That's all the hints I'm going to give you to recap your days of the week. I know you're still learning. <laughs> I know you're still learning. Well, okay. I ended up going there on Friday. Then we camp started on Saturday. This was like two weeks ago, roughly. Give like take. Just less than two, two weeks ago. But uh, I got there. Like I left for Friday. Got there Friday. Camp actually started on Saturday, but I was working with kids, so I had to set up my area, my little cabin thing. It's super cute. Wish you guys could see it, but of course, you, you don't get to. So, I don't my do bad. a lot of post production for these. No. No. I throw in the intro, I make sure the sound looks good all of the day. That's fair. They do take like an hour and a half, three, hour and a half to three hours to export, depending on how long the podcast is. Um, anywho, uh, Saturday, I was working with kids, so basically we had to get set up the day before because around 2.30, I was going to be doing Plan to Protect. Yay me. What is that? Plan to Protect? I didn't, I never went to overnight schools, or overnight camps. Oh. I guess we can talk about that in a little bit too. Well, those schools do that too, Plan to Protect? They do? Yeah. Basically, I, it was a, it didn't need to be, but besides the point, it was like a two hour lecture on like what to do in emergencies, where to find the, like, uh, the safety kit, etc. how to take care of the kids, where like this, this, and this, make sure all the kids are okay, just plan to protect so I could take care of the kids properly without like endangering anybody. That's but fair. It's, yeah. And then valid. I got a really awesome note afterwards. It was great. I signed a few things. Lovely. Autographs. Yeah, I know because I'm documents. so famous. Just, just autographs, not documents. Of course, you know, I being on the Tendy podcast has given me so much. Yeah, a whole one person noticing who you are on Spotify. Really? Yeah. Oh, I don't think I mentioned the last time we recorded, I wasn't on Apple Music or Apple Podcast. Oh. Now I am on Apple Podcast. Yay! Expansion. Anywho, um, what did I do? So, Sunday, so. Sang songs. Listen, it, it's a, a church camp, and I've been going. It's family camp, so it's not just for, like, kids and stuff. It's for, like, everybody. Like, a lot of older people actually go more so. Think it's of, kind of just a week to be away from society. Think of this might be a dated reference. Think of dirt the dirty dancing like type camp minus the dirty dancing and more Jesus. Family Maybe, camp. yeah. Weirdly Maybe, enough, yeah. that's like the best description of it. Um, yeah, a lot of singing, dancing, getting the kids ready for their performance because we get to perform every year. Um. I didn't really go to any games or anything because we had games. Uh, I did do, we had Christmas in July, which was really fun, which means we got to decorate all the trailers. And then at the next day, it's really cool. Present. Well, no, look, I'll show you. I'll show you. you. I won't. I'm sorry, I got no post-production. I'm not here. Oh, my God. Look. Is that a ladder? Yeah. Hold on. Go back. We can, uh, we can look a ladder. <laughs> but it looks like a Christmas tree. Oh, that's actually kind of funny. And we had all the presents underneath. Is that is that Kitty? Yes, it was Kitty. 
Yeah, kid. Uh, Inside it, joke. <clears throat> and all my Christmas stuffies. Love that. And a card I randomly found that nobody signed, Dude, so I just have it. I love stealing Christmas cards from random family. <laughs> um, I went swimming. We had a lot of night walks. I'm I so basically I was part of the youth last year and like a few years before, from like the age of twelve to well, age nineteen. 12. <laughs> age twelve to about the age of twelve. I was I I was in the kids program from like from eleven to eleven because <laughs> I was only there for that one year and then twelve and on I was part of the youth and basically uh yeah um but my last year was last was last year and uh, we were I am now no longer part of the youth which kind of sucks. But that's okay. I got to uh, participate in one game, which was Manhunt, and I won because I'm a boss. I sat there, I, I, I ran away, and then sat there. So you camped the entire time? Pretty much. There's no fun in that. It was fun. I got to go on my phone the whole time. Oh, that's fair. I and I expected to get found. I, I did. All my friends got found. I was just sitting beside a trailer and a tree on my phone. I had, they, they walked by me a bunch of times with lights on and everything and <laughs> still couldn't see me, apparently. Turn down the brightness on my phone. <laughs> I just had my hood up and, and on it, like, with a sweater and... Posted up. My leggings and just sat there on my phone. Actually, I want to... And I had him texting me. That was great. I enjoyed that. I want to bring this up because we went... Ironically, we both now, well, you kind of work... For your camp, and I, I now do work for the camps I used to go to. Mm-hmm. I want to talk about the differences between an overnight camp and a day camp because I used to, and I still, I work now at day camps. Yes, which is the official hours are between eight thirty to four, well, give I've, or take, and it's like school hours basically. I worked for the camp for three years so far because one year I was working with inside the kitchen. And wiping tables and stuff. Uh, and then the I... Chief. No. Oh. <laughs> Very much no. I, I took over because my, my cousin had was doing that job and then he got COVID. And I was helping out with a, a bunch of different projects. So it was that. I cleaned the bathrooms. And I was I was doing a lot yeah, that, that The first year I was doing a lot. Because I was cleaning the washrooms. I was helping clean the kitchen. Make sure everything's tidy. And <clears throat> bringing out the food. And serving people and whatever. Right. And I, um, not last year, no. Uh, I was also part of the youth, so I had a bunch going on that year. Then last year, um, I talked on stage, which was terrifying. I talked. And I also <laughs> I also cleaned the washrooms. Got so many compliments, by the way. Just saying, not to toot my own horn. <laughs> it was great. So happens when you let someone with OCD... Oh my gosh, I made bathroom. sure that smelled great. And you know, all the old people who walk in, they're like, I've never seen a cleaner bathroom. Me. <laughs> I cleaned it three times a day, made sure on the dot I was doing it. It was great. Three times a day. Wow, that's impressive. Well, yeah, I could. Wow. Well, because well, there is right next to the pool. Uh, and so kids. Used a lot. Exactly. And they also drag in mud a lot and water, mm. so you have to clean it. Delicious. But this year, the girl who was going to clean it was sick. But besides the point. I've been helping the, the camp a lot, and Yay. whatever. We have different activities, super fun, super great. Uh, well, there's water fight my sister participated in, two of mine. Um, there was a volleyball tournament. We did golfing. We did horseshoe Dude, throwing. Golf would be so fun. Yeah, the, it was, only, it was guys' golf. That. It was guys' golf, so the girls couldn't be participating. Ha! <laughs> but I don't really care. I it is what it is. I would love that. But yeah, the, we 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 had camp. we used to have baseball, which was the adults against the youth. But we didn't do that this Dude, year. No mercy. I'm 99. If a kid's stealing on me, I'm throwing. Well, it's it. the I'm youth, the so it's young. not. It's it's I'm 12 and gun, up. I'm gunning him at second. It's or the her. youth. It's 12 and up. Dude, so it doesn't matter. So <laughs> you don't need to be careful. There's no little Dude, little you know, kids. I'm taking the bump, and if, if a kid steps <laughs> close to the plane. Rolling one out of his head. Um, but yeah, I'm sorry to blabber on for so long. You asked me how my week went, and, and then there was a bunch of um, we had breakfast at eight, 
Uh, we had lunch at 12, and we also had um, dinner at, like, 5-ish. On the right, on the right time. Yes. And then we also had um, Bible study to do, which was fun. It was great. I didn't. Okay. We had, I, I don't know if you were, you're. I don't like reading books. <laughs> it was at, like, 10 o'clock. Um, well, at actually, night? No. Oh, I'm like, are you expecting the me games to stay are awake at, while reading a no, book? No, the youth games are at, a, like, 9 to 11 o'clock. Yeah, so there's no, no way I'm able to stay But up for we, that. we had, um. Ever. We had at 10, well, because at 10 a.m., it's uh, adult Bible study. Then we had 10, 15 is for the youth. And we started a young adult Bible right. study and group, which is fun. Because we didn't until this year, because a few of my friends were still in youth, so they wanted to kind of stretch it out a little bit to accommodate everybody, which is really nice. Then you wake up and do it again. And they had it. They also have a youth night, where basically they go to Boston Pizza and like have fun. It's really great. Anyway, so on to our comparisons. Uh, so with day camp, you don't do any of that. Yeah, the I guess the only resemblance is you play games, you sing a couple songs, but there's more of a theme other than just Christmas in July. No, we have more themes. It's just that's the only one I could think of. Well, we that's just to to decorate the trailers. Yeah. Well, with us, it's um like this week it's like cartoon or something. This past week, I guess yeah. when this comes out, it's like cartoon break. We also had um, what was it Hawaii Day? That'd be a good one. Um, no, but the with with the working day camps, it's earliest you ever have to be there is like quarter to seven. Yeah. The latest you ever have to stay is like quarter to six at night. Um, it's fun, but you get to go home at the end of the day. I think that's. I, th- I think that's the only. Difference. I think that's the only difference. Uh, you're not living with your unless you siblings, of course, but you're not living with your camp meets no well yeah you like for us it was like even a, a like past 11 p.m we were out walking like taking walks we'd go to like a nearby like school that's closed down currently obviously because it's summer and we'd just walk around play on the park whatever or we'd go to the train tracks which by the way a terrifying experience happened during our train track walk which is great it's in the middle of nowhere by the way so you basically something were to happen no one would know so basically society like like because there's like a small town around but like nothing crazy it's not like where we live or anything right no cities no but it's really cool it's just the nearest like like store and stuff is like 15 minute drive away so it's It's like like an hour walk Exactly. So it's like one of those things. It's really cool. I like it out there. You can see all the stars. But no, we had a pretty ex- scary experience recently. Tell it as I figure out my next. Oh. So basically we went into the to the uh, train tracks and it was me and like a group of people. My aunt, my uncle, my cousins, and like a few friends of ours and my sisters. And um Basically, we walked to the train tracks. My sister started throwing rocks into the trees, but she had her headphones in, so she couldn't hear anything around her. And she's throwing rocks, and we can hear these terrifying sounds. It almost sounds like a dog and a duck mixed together. It was kind of hilarious. I think it was like a coyote or something, but it was just, you could hear it, and it was like freaking me out. I was probably the scaredest there, I'll admit it, because I am a scaredy cat. Right. Besides the point. And we were sitting there and sitting there, and then we sat back down, got comfortable, because we were laying on the tracks just looking up at the stars, and then we heard a blood-curdling scream. It was so scary. They think it was like a fox or like like a wolf fighting or something, but it was, it, the issue was, I don't know if it was, it didn't sound like that. It was so scary. Like, it was, it sounded like somebody yelled help, almost. But again, it could just be, an, like, like a fox or, like... It make the most amount of sense of being a fox. 
Yeah, or like or a coyote or something. Because like that, they they do make those noises. I know they do. It's like I'm not just wanting to be like, oh yeah, I know it was a scream because I don't know. But we heard it from miles away, and you could just hear this blood curdling scream. We're all up and we're gone by that point because it was so so freaky. And we're walking, and we just hear almost like things following us. And we could hear it. And whether the bear. <laughs> here's the thing, even if it was like a wolf or a coyote, like they are known to attack people anyway, especially yeah. in big groups. Like not like especially like groups of people, but like big groups of, you know, them. Maybe I don't want you going back. I don't want you to die via wolf eating. What do you mean? It'd be such a fun conversation. Yeah, my girlfriend, hey she got guys, eaten by a wolf. Welcome back to the Let's Talk Things podcast. Yeah, Remember so was an empty chair, she got eaten by a wolf. <laughs> I promise he'd be sadder. I would. You wouldn't? No, I no, I would. Oh, you would. I don't think I would do the podcast. I don't think I would. Do You'd the have podcast to inform again. them it's that I'm dead. Tweet. <laughs> Girlfriend's dead. Lol. Died via wolf. <laughs> Guess I gotta get a new one. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't clutch the gulag. Should have done better. Hey Dom, you want to be my new co-host? It'd be hilarious. Well, I have a really funny question. Okay. Because this is. Really bad to le- say that we work with kids. <laughs> How many kids do you think you could fight before they take you down? Realistically, like ten. Ten? Okay. Let's say they're realistically. Between, let's say they're between the ages of four to eight. How many can you take down? Ten. Ten? I'm no. I I know what 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 like roughly what I'm imagining it. It's the kids I was taking care of. If it was yeah. the kids I'm taking care of. Because they 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 were, they were um like four to eleven right ten because like they're tiny so they're easy enough to push up, put them I love them you push them great. over but but like you can push them over but the issue is they, if they, they were all ganging back. out on me ten I'm not gonna lie kids are made of rubber you push them over they're just gonna bounce right they're gonna boing they're gonna gonna probably gonna right laugh about up. it <laughs> probably they'll probably think it's a game but I just think <laughs> yeah like roughly like ten because. Maybe if I was a little younger, I'd say less, but the issue is if they're not full-grown adults. These are kids. So I, I'm betting that I could probably take down, like, ten if it was anything more probably done for. And we're not saying kill. We're saying incapacitate. Like, not where they over. won't Where they won't fight back. Yeah, like ten. Like ten. I'm I not think I could take kill. down... I wouldn't want to... I think I could take down, down between four to eight-year-olds. I could take down probably 40 would be <laughs> would be twice r- me would be rough you're four, also it's four t- times but you're, you, you said 10 i said 40 you're Maybe right 50. twice to, yeah depending on like the herd but it's also the how, herd. how are you imagining it though all of them at you at once or in like two at a time? i was thinking all of them at once okay if we're going two at a time if it's with a two minute interval oh. before the next two get sent Oh, I have no idea. Probably, probably way more than forty. If it's only two of them. But every two minutes, two new kids get sent. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking them to, in two minutes. I ha- I have time to catch my breath. I I'm think good. once you don't catch your breath, I, I think it it you, you're good if you're able to handle it up until you're getting. You're tired and no, you're like, oh, I, I'm okay. going until they're running out of kids. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> until they're running no, out of them. Inside Out Boyfriend Factory. They just keep producing. <laughs> they keep. <laughs> <laughs> then I'd be fine. Riley's imagination boy. How many boy uh, Riley's imagination boyfriends can you take on before you lose? I feel like I just get bored. I'd sit there like after a while <laughs> and like I'd just sit there and I'd be like, okay guys, just just stop. <laughs> I'm fine. Till okay. I fall asleep at that point. How? Let's keep going with these questions because I oh like my. these hypotheticals. <laughs> How many? Okay, would you rather fight a feral dog or a feral cat? Cat. A dog I can handle. Are you sure? No, I can't handle a dog. A dog, because, like, cats really, they, they're all kind of the same size almost. A dog, on the other hand, they... You could, I could be fighting a Sadie. No, we're, we're gonna, we're gonna say they're evenly sized. So give me, so like. So we'll say a big cat or a, like a big house cat, a big feral house cat. How big? 
Like, give me, give me, a, give me a sec. How big are house cats? You like this big as usual? Kind of, maybe take? even smaller. We'll do about this big. It's about let's say like half a Sadie size. That's oh, concern for this cat. Half, I think half, it's taking steroids. Or half, something. it's ruining up. Half a Sadie size. Half a Sadie size. But both the dog and the cat are about are the same size. I'm taking dog. Yeah, you can, you well, can... like I was just picturing if I was attacking, if like a, like a cat was attacking me, or like uh, I don't but, know, like a German Shepherd. But what if they dig their claws into you? No, no, I no. You gave me a comparison. It's fine now. I would go with the dog too because you only really have to worry about their teeth. You, you basically push them over and they're, they'll run away. You you give them a little, no, little boot. I'm no. taking the J Schlatt approach on this. You give them a little boot. No, I was and thinking. Stop. Thinking more like fall down and they'll stop. Maybe I don't know. I would pick the dog too with that comparison. If it were like a big dog and a little cat, I wouldn't do it. I'd go. Mm. I'd go with the cat. I see. I see. Would you rather be a canine, like the the the, the dude in the police canine suit? That is your full-time career. That is what you wake up in the morning and do every day. Yes. Or a car crash dummy. I'd be a car crash dummy. That'd be sick. <laughs> That'd be so great. You you wake up and say, I'm going to go to my job. Put me behind a wheel. No Heck seatbelt. yes. I love it. Do it. Push me. Bye, guys. <laughs> I'll I, do it. I think I would low-key be. Well... It would be fun for the first 20 minutes to be a car crash dummy until my neck starts hurting. Then I don't think it's fun anymore. No, I love it. I tell people that. Because, like... I think one dogs year, are too don't, scary. don't get me wrong. As I said, I would mush a dog. I, I, I'd love to take care of dogs. Yeah, but, like... No, you don't take care of them. Oh. You're getting attacked by the canine oh. dog. Oh. No. I thought this would be here's more of a the, difficult, like, a thought-provoking question. No, no. I'm sorry. I get too sensitive with that, mostly because, like, we have had dogs almost, like, attack me before, uh, and, like, I immediately start bawling, because it's not because I'm afraid, necessarily. I just get worried that... You'll hurt the dog. Yes, or they're going to get... My in bones are too strong. Or they're going to get in trouble. Like, I got bit by, like, a really tiny dog once, and, like, immediately they're like, oh, oh, no, I she didn't... I'm like, I know, it's okay, I'm just sensitive, just please, and just... I need the dog. I feel bad because I went. I was cuddling with this dog the whole time. We were snuggling up for like three hours. We, I had to go. I wanted to go say goodbye to the dog, and it tried to bite my face. <laughs> Sounds about right. Okay. But no, car crash dummy for sure. Cause like, mm. like, which one are you, are you wanting to tell people more too? If I was to be like, yeah, guess what? I'm so cool. I got into so many. I don't know. Car I feel like crashes. the canine would be kind of cool because they don't know you're in there like if you wear a helmet know. that they don't know you're in there no i feel I, like you could be like i'm good friends with the dogs i i especially if i do it so many times i could deal with the car crashes and mm. like i okay you're more likely to get into a car accident than be attacked by a dog my opinion i don't know she's my opinion. very vicious over there while sleeping she's so scary <laughs> uh okay i know especially I, I, when I she's licking my face i might go with the car crash i don't know no i'm not trying to sway you I'm just saying personally. I, I like. I know what I'm doing. a thought-provoking question for me. Oh, there, there, buddy, there, there. Okay, would you rather fight? Ooh, angry sea turtle or angry dolphin? Angry sea turtle. I can take him. I just gotta grab his shell. <laughs> Dude, I think these are thought-provoking questions. I I always think these are thought provoking questions, and you're just like, oh, easy answer. It's like, think, think more into it. Oh, I it. mean, I mean, oh, this answer is still. I was gonna say to shark or out. dolphin. Shark or dolphin? Because dolphins can be vicious. I think shark actually. I would let, rather deal with a shark first before I deal with a dolphin because dolphin also <laughs> travel in like like yeah. groups. Dolphins are sharks. You can probably <laughs> get away with. All you also have, the only thing you have to really do is punch him in the eyeball. True, punch him in the nose. Ba -ba -ba -ba. In, the, in the nose. My, Sorry, uh, my man. My coworkers were I talking. I love sharks, though. My coworkers were talking about this. <coughs> Dolphins <coughs> will bring like, oh because they know they're cute. They'll bring people out in like boats and, and stuff. And drown them. No, take them out to dangerous areas. So like, 
legitimately like, sharks and like predators of the ocean can get them. They do that. Yeah, they love they're, messing with. They're people. bullies. They're, I, I would no, love to be, become a dolphin. Did you I'm know that they like incarnated. like they hit around poor puffer fishes to get high? <clears throat> did you know that? Because they they bring out toxins when they when they like puff out. So they basically play with the the puffer fish so that so that they get those toxins so they can become high. I respect. They're mean to the other animals. I respect those dolphins. They're also super intelligent. They're super intelligent. The they're geniuses. like they're the closest animals to like people. Okay. Besides, well, I guess I, yeah, you're right. They're the closest mammals. Yeah. Okay, this is a question that I know from uh, another podcast. I'm not going to shout them out. Well, I will shout them out, but the, the shout out does not do for them. It's the charcoal sandwich. Would you rather have? I've been asking actually campers this, and they always get it wrong every time. Would you rather have bacon? Bacon. Unlimited bacon, but no games. Okay. Or games. Unlimited games, but no games. Discuss. <laughs> Pardon me. Well, uh, okay, I'll say it. I. Oh, I'll say it again. Would you rather have bacon, mm-hmm. unlimited, unlimited bacon, bacon, but no games, but no games, or games, unlimited games, but no games, unlimited games, but no games? Discuss. <laughs> I don't like bacon, so this is like really bad for me. <laughs> We've lost your folks. <laughs> so hold on, unlimited games, but no games. I, yeah, I... I guess I'm just as... games with no games because I don't want bacon. So I don't get games either way. But you got unlimited games. But you just said I don't get games. So what am I going to do with these unlimited games because I can't get these games. But it's unlimited. <laughs> I can't do this anymore. Okay. <laughs> My brain's breaking. <laughs> It's breaking right here. I think I'm going to... I made my co-host cry with this question. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it So you're choosing, you're choosing the games? Um, I guess so, because I'm not going to get any games either way, considering you said I get unlimited games and no games, so I get no games regardless. So no games. Mm. Unlimited games and no games, because I don't like bacon. Mm, I don't know how I'm going to feel about that answer. I'm not getting games regardless! <laughs> yeah, but you'll get unlimited games. <laughs> no, I don't, because you said no games! I'm gonna hurt you. I'm gonna hurt you. My, gonna my co host attacked me over one question. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, great, so you chose an answer. I did give you an answer. I did. An answer. Next question. That's a little backstory. Okay. For those who also don't know, and I'm pretty sure you should, if you've listened to this podcast. This is the only question he got me stumped, by the way. Would you rather... (laughs) No, this is a genuinely thought-provoking question. You'll probably agree with me on this, but I also want to play kind of devil's advocate. Okay. I was umpiring the last couple weekends in a row, and... One of the game I had to supervise for uh, Pinwheel, which is four diamonds, uh, for just the umpires, just to make sure they're doing it right, make sure nothing's wrong. If they have any questions, they have to reach out to me because I'm awesome and I know everything. Psych, I don't know everything. But there came up a problem during one of the games, and the problem was that parents were sitting out at their, keep in mind, 12-year-old, 12-year-old's game with an open and free-to-read can of beer. Oh. My first thought was, your kid's 12, why are you drinking? It's not the MLB. Yeah. But this does lead to my question, which is, should parents be allowed to drink at youth sporting events? Depending on their age, I'd say yes, but, like, I don't think anything... I think it... What, what do you think your limit age is? Honestly, I think 16 if, or I was going to say 16, 16 or 16, because if you're 12, you're not really going to get the concept. And plus, I think that looks bad. It reflects bad not only on you, but also on your kid. 
and the team. So these yeah. parents were from a different st- a different spot, different not where we live. Um, I think they're a little farther south. Well, cause like this kid is not even in high school yet. No. Like I think you can. I don't think the kids realized they the parents were drinking. No, but, but there were a good handful of times where I'd look over and as I'm supervising, I'm kind of wandering the diamonds. Well, like you're also this kid. You need to drive them home. How much are they drinking? Like, you really shouldn't, you, this is an event. If you're 16 years old, there's a possibility of you getting your G1, G2, like, whatever. Like, there's a, a small possibility right. that you already having that. And you have the concept of that. You can get a drive home from somebody else. You can, like, you have ways of doing it. But right. when you're 12 years old, you do not. So, here's my... So, I think it really differs. Here's the devil's advocate. I'm going to okay. say this now before you get mad at me and think this I'm is not. No, no, no. I understand. I meant the people watching oh, but <laughs> sorry, sorry. So, he, he knows if if i disagree with him i'm gonna snap oh oh we're breaking things okay so the devil's advocate part of this is even though that is a youth sporting event if i'm not driving what is stopping me from drinking i can drink at a jays game no problem i can drink at an argos game no problem I can drink at a soccer game, no problem. And there are kids there who are like fifteen, who play professional soccer. Yeah. So and that that's the only reason I think that people. I'm not driving them home. It's not a worry. I don't have to worry about it. Or I brought a can of beer. I know I'm going to be fine to drive home after a can of beer. Keep in mind it was a pretty far drive, and they do. The parents were getting rowdy, so I don't think they just had one. That's what I'm saying. But, but you have to think about the kids. That's my thought at process. At the same time, if I'm there with my wife and my wife says, I'll drive them home, what is stopping me from having a drink? I think one is okay, and you, I think the kids should be 16. I don't think they should be 12, because I think they should be 16 or older, because if you're 12 years old... You, they should be there, honestly. Like, you don't really need a drink. No. Well, sometimes. Unless your kid is really bad and you want to forget the memories. Good to know. <laughs> no. no. It, it's, it's, again, if I'm not driving them home. I, I just think out of, I think it's more so, like, you can't drink at school. But the like, kids aren't drinking. I, no, but what I'm saying is, like, I think it's, like, you can't drink at school. You can't drink in a church. You can't drink, like, obviously, unless can, it's, like, I can drink at my school. a sip of wine or something. But, like, you know what I mean? I'm in college. They don't care if you're <sighs> drunk. But what I mean is, like, it's more so about etiquette. Yeah. It's about being respectful to everybody else. Right. Because you're just drinking around children who could get their hands on it. You, you're drinking around... Because, like, these other parents could be bringing little kids around. And, like, what if they grab it? What if they, like, you're not paying attention? Right. Obviously, I know that's only other parent. Right. But regardless, so, I think it is not fair. Like, I, I just... I'm, I'm stuck with the 16 or older because that's the only logical thing in my mind. So let me change the question a little bit. Just parent, out of respect. Parent shows up for their kid's youth game. Yes. Doesn't have it doesn't show up with a can of beer. Yeah. Shows up with a beer in a travel mug that they poured out in the parking lot and brought in so they couldn't get in trouble. Then you have a serious problem. <laughs> no, but it, it's 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 a <laughs> And no, it's not a genuine s- question. You no. don't need to. So if nobody Let's say, okay. But why are you doing think, that? Think about it, though. If I go because I'm with my kids' my kids' friends. Yes. My kids' my kids' friends or teammates, and I like their parent. What is the difference between me having a drink? Again, devil's advocate here. Me having a drink while they play with my friend who is also a fellow parent. Yes. And me having a drink at a dinner table at a Boston pizza or a Chuck's Roadhouse while the kid's sitting right there. I don't know. I think it's a respect thing. Because, like, I, I think it's a respect thing, mostly. Like, I don't know. I, I, that's just me. 
Right, which is fair. I, I think it's... That's true. Well, I, it's, I think you just shouldn't do it because it's stupid. Like I, I think you should be this, respectful, not only to... I think you should be more respectful to your own kid. Yeah. This kid probably... Like, you should be respectful to them. But I've... I've had too many, like, ups and downs with certain things, so I am just speaking out of my right. life, I, but... I also think that if you're going... I think you one have, drink you, is acceptable. One drink. I think even if you're going to your kid's game and you're repping the city colors and and you're doing this and you're doing like you you show up and you're with the banner and all the parents that have the city name on their shirt and it's in the cup it's like and all of a sudden you see a good handful of the parents drinking you're like Whoa. that's what i mean it's for me it's safety like yeah. it just doesn't make me feel like even if somebody else is driving it just doesn't make me feel at, like easy about that because these are kids these aren't people who can stop you I think these are also, children. I think there's also a difference too. If you have three drinks and can control yourself, okay. I don't. I think there comes. I if think you it can't depends. Control yourself. That's the problem. Well, a lot of people don't know their limits. Well, yeah. That's my issue. A lot of people aren't gonna know their limits, and I don't think. I think one drink, or nothing at all. That's fair. Because that's you can have one drink. You can, if you can handle that, it's... one drink is fine. But what is what really is the purpose of having more than one drink at a baseball game or soccer game or a youth game of whatever sort for any reason? Like, really, logically. I want to go broke. Just and again, <laughs> if you're hiding in a travel mug, that yeah, is that a is, problem. That is a problem. Why, if you, they're not allowed to bring drinks, why it's... are you putting it in a, a cup? Because the problem. I, the problem. Another devil's advocate is that it is a problem. I want to say it's a public event. And at public events, well, no, I'm not uh, breaking the rules. There's I, no specific rules on drinking. Actually, I think there might have been, I might don't have know. been rules of a drink. No, I think it was. Something. I don't know. That's just my opinion. I'm not going to drink if I'm taking no. my kid to a baseball game. And, and I'm like, you know what? Oh my gosh. If it's just you and me and you're driving. Okay, but if it's our 12-year-old kid, yeah. I'm not doing that to them. No. That's not fair on them. They don't need to see mommy being like that. <laughs> Listen, guys, don't be weird. Anyways, it was just a question because I – that was – it would have been three weeks ago, and I wanted to ask it the next time we were able to record, and then we didn't because you were leaving. But I've I've been sitting on this for about three weeks, mm. and I always come back to – what is what is the point of if you're thirsty bring get a pop, get a bring water. water yeah anything if if you want to have a drink with your buddies who wait are kids are also in the team wait till after go to a drink go to a restaurant yeah, get a beer just wait till after or go home and they can play up in their room while you guys sit down and drink like together like you got it doesn't have to be you drinking at the game yeah. i don't think that should be okay Personal. I just thought it was – again, I don't think I would have brought this question up if the parents controlled themselves better than they did. Because there was a situation – They So they were rowdy and stuff. There was a situation where an umpire I called time a little too early. I don't remember exactly. Sadie, go lie down. She went too long. I don't want to get up. There was a time where an umpire called time a little too early or whatever it was, and it's me and the coach is talking and the umpire is talking because they need to know what would happen. And I'm like, well, kind of just play somewhere we think they would be, and the play continue anyways. And the parents were chirping. Like, the parents who were drinking were chirping in. The other parents were like, they weren't drinking. The, one te the other team's parents weren't drinking. They're like, dude, let them talk. So the one team is the, – the parents on the one – the drinking – I don't want to say drinking team, but the parents who were, who were, the people drinking, who were drinking were – were chipping in. The other parents were like, yo, let them talk. Let them think. And I'm like, I'm trying to think. I'll get out of my head because I'm trying to think if it is a rule, but it's not really a rule. Yeah. So we, anyways, the uh, the parent – we made the call. I think I don't remember what it was. Both teams were happy with it in the end. And the parents were like, well, what did you do that for? I'm like, 
as you guys were talking. <laughs> uh, well, but the reason was so both teams are happy in the long run. See what I mean? These yeah. are twelve year olds. Why are you acting like that? Competitiveness. I know, but like, reliving the glory days. Regardless, like I under, I'm a competitive person, but I'm not freaking out because my kid is doing bad. No, like it's not fair to them. It's no. just like, and that reflects on you as a parent, like, and the team, like exactly. Which is, but wor- I'm like, sorry, my thought process is more on these children than, I know. It, than it is any but other. But I'm place. also thinking about it if I'm a parent and like my other peer parents, I guess are drinking at a game and they're rowdy, all of a sudden now everyone thinks that we're all rowdy. I just think it But it, it looks it, it reflects worse for the kids, in my it opinion. Does. Because not only will the people who aren't on that team mad, the team's gonna be mad. You are I believe you I believe you are very right. Like I've never been on a team. I'm also not a parent. Could you make but... that sound so much sadder, please. I've never been selected on a team. I was no, always no, picked I... last. No, I mean like I've never because I didn't have money for that, and so I never was like on a baseball team or a hockey team. So I'm not really like, but I, like I played games. I've had fun, whatever. And if my mother was screaming at the coach or the the umpires about something I did, and it's like, leave me alone. <laughs> I would be embarrassed. Yeah. Okay. Before you try to fist fight me on this one. Uh-huh. Um. Last question. No. Last question before we wrap it up because we got about 15 minutes. Sick. HOAs. Homeowner associations. Do you think they're a good thing or a bad thing? Do you know do you know what an HOA is? No. Think of white picket fence neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> the best way I can okay. call the sack. Yes. It is basically a I believe it is a mutual agreement. I will look it up really quickly. Exact the exact definition of an HOA. What are you doing? Looking at your phone. Definition of an of HOA. 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 Oh, it's, I don't want Google piss off. Uh, Homer Association. I, I want to read it. Governing. No, you're done. Uh, an HOA is a homeowners know. association. is a self-governing organization in common interest communities where homeowners collectively pay fees to maintain the units or neighborhood. <coughs> Basically, <coughs> a little government inside of a neighborhood where they pay taxes. If you go into and buy a house and they say you have to sign up for the HOA are you signing that pay are you signing that contract Um, my answer no no I wouldn't do it I I feel like that's more trouble than it's worth I don't care if the uh, neighbors hate me that's their problem cry about it but if I sign on to a house and they say oh we have to sign this HOA agreement you know what I'm gonna look no because the reason is, if I don't have to, I don't want to. I've purchased this, Pete. I purchased this lot. I've purchased this land. I've purchased this house. I can do what I want with this house. Yeah. It is something that, as under my control, <coughs> I say mine as family, whatever, under the control of the people who own it, who actually pay for the house, pay for the mortgage, pay for electrical, heating, blank, blank, blank. Last thing I want to do is pay an extra fee. To join a homeowners association to then, like, what is it going to do? Better the neighborhood. I have to cut my grass exactly three inches long. And if it's not, I'm going to get, I'm going to get my kneecaps lo- taken. Like, I don't know. I, I, I don't really care that much because I've only, never had to, you know, sign an HOA in my life. No. The only reason... How did you come up with this question? I was watching a TikTok about HOAs, and I thought they were the dumbest thing ever. I guess Actually, they're the dumbest thing ever. I still barely know what they are. Better yet, so I was watching... agreeing with him at this point. I was watching a movie. <laughs> He's ignoring the fact that I'm talking to you guys. I know. I was watching a movie, and the movie, it was with Tim... I believe it was Tim Allen, and they have to, they're like going on vacation for Christmas and the HOA that 
the, the basically the HOA was like, oh no, you haven't set up your Christmas decorations yet. You need to by this date. And they're like, we're we don't want to say we're leaving because they're gonna like the the pish posh neighborhood. Yeah. They're gonna, oh we're oh and then they learn they were leaving and it's like oh you have to free whatever and it, it was like oh I'm like God, dude this would all be frosty. St- I don't think that's the name of the movie. Sadie. No, 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 not the name of the movie, but is it Free Frosty or whatever? Yeah, and it's oh like my gosh, the snowman I know what he's on the top about. of the roof. Yes. Yes. That movie, I'm sitting there, I'm like, that they is they go the... on vacation and stuff. And yes, that... I'm like, that is the dumbest oh. thing ever. If I if I have people telling me I need to free a plastic or styrofoam snowman. No. Dude. Again. The way I see it, it is my house. It is my yard. It is my whatever. If I want to have it my way and I want to put a goddamn koi fish in the middle of my front lawn, I will do it as I please. No, yeah, I like originality. I am very, like, I'm sorry, I'm super independent and I, I'm very theatrical. So, no, I'm not, yeah, right, I wouldn't do you it. You know what HOAs remind me of? You know that scene from Spongebob where Squidward... Sorry to whoever runs the HOA. Lol. Not my problem. You know that scene from Spongebob where Squidward um, finds his other Squidwards? Yeah. And he lives in the... All the that is exactly how I think an HOA is run. Everybody has the exact same house except the number on the front is different. Copy and paste. Copy and paste. Yeah. Or Cat in the Hat. They do know a lot about that. No, have you seen the cat in the hat? I have not, but I do need to go and help my mother. That's okay. So, but I think we've got through a lot of topics. I think I now know what I'm going to name the title of this podcast. Either <laughs> I made my girlfriend cry with one question. Oh, I have a question. Yes, co-host. I have a. I'm not I, your girlfriend I right have, now. I'm your I have co-host. a question. Yes. Would you rather have bacon, unlimited? No, bacon, we're not doing this. And no games or games. Unlimited games, but no games. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, shout out Jay Shalot, even though that you're way better than I am and have more people following me, have more accounts. Uh, and I've always wanted to ask her that question. I don't think I've ever asked her the question, but you I like. You have multiple times. Well, I'll ask it again later, for another episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you, everybody. Are you texting? No, I'm not texting you. Cat in the Hat knows a lot about that. I'm t- searching up the Cat in the Hat neighborhood and showing you what I was talking about. Oh, my. About. You're totally right. No, what? Cat no, I the- know exactly what you're talking about. Anyways, cat- anyways, Cat in the Hat neighborhood. All right. See you in the next one. Peace. Bye.